if you add the Topcon blockage system, or if you already have it, there's a few things you need to know how to add it and B, how to run it. First, we're going to go into setup. So if we're adding it, we're adding an ECU on the drill, as well as all the sensors and harnesses to work with that. So we're going to first go to implement and up to ECU and then over to manage. We already have four ECUs in our system. Our system is set up with uh, granular uh, tanks, uh, one through four, and also a saddle tank, as well as Packmaster and section control. So that's the four ECUs that are already being used for that. So we're gonna add one for blockage. So we mounted it on our tank, we've got it plugged in, and we just hit this, add new ECU. So it says connect one new ECU into the system and then hit next. Now we have to go out to our drill. So now we're going to come out to our drill and we've added a EM24 ECU which is going to be used for blockage. This simulator just shows it sitting on a stand. So we won't, uh, it won't look quite like this on a drill, but very similar. The ECU is still the same. So connected to the ECU, we'll have two power connectors. We'll have an input. So it, this input will go to our multiple sensors. So we have in one through 14, and there's also multiple inputs here. But this would be normally how you'd connect it depending on how many of these sensors you have. It'll be one per manifold head. The other connector is our comms connector. So there's a port labeled comms on this ECU and our monitor in the wizard has asked us to plug in the comms to detect a new ECU and to add one in. So I'll connect this. So we've got our Comms connected in on our new ECU that we've added for blockage, and we'll advance the wizard. It detected a Apollo ECU EM24. Hit next and accept it. We'll always wait to make sure that the firmware populates and it's the correct firmware. So now it's connected and we have the same firmware in this EM24 as we did in our section control one, which would be correct. So now we have to move over to Cedar, so implement Cedar accessories, block head. You simply just have to enable it. All of this is pre-populated, so you'll leave that. It has the associated heads. Using an eight head distribution system set at factory default as an example, the manifold heads would be numbered seed 1 to seed 8 from left to right on the seed distribution kit and FERT 1 to FERT 8 from left to right on the fertilizer distribution system. Acronyms that are used to identify the head locations are LOW for left outer wing, OLIW for outer left inner wing, ILIW inner left inner wing, LMF is left mainframe, and so on. The actual sensor number loops around the drill, starting at sensor 1 on the left outer wing seed manifold, continuing to sensor 8 on the right side of for seed. The fertilizer manifold on the outer right is assigned sensor number 9, and the sequence continues to the left outer fertilizer manifold that has sensor number 16. Refer to the operator's manual for detailed instructions and custom settings when required. If you didn't want to monitor both seed and fertilizer, you can come in here and simply select seed only or fertilizer only. So you don't have nuisance alarms. This is where you come to do that. That's the only thing you should have to come back in here to do. So we'll leave ours set up with seed and fertilizer. We'll touch the running screen. Now it would be quite wise for you to test your system. So we can be stationary to do the test. Touch on the back of the cedar. There's an icon with blockage. So we go to our sensors. 
And when I dance my finger in there, you can see that it activates the fertilizer section two. The other place you can see that is if we hold and swipe up here, you can see it's got that same one. So I'll dance my finger in there so it's active. I can touch it and it tells me which sensor it is. You should repeat this to make sure all of your blockage sensors are working correctly. Now that we've all manually checked all of our sensors, the next step would be to start seeding and to have it on one of these screens so you can see that all of these indicators do in fact go green so that you know everything is working.